I have been getting a lot of questions lately about mango flowers and what is happening to them. Uh, a lot of people had small fruit or just flowers uh, on their trees and then all of a sudden they didn't. Uh, it's been a problem this year. We've had a couple things happen uh, to our mango flowers. We had an early bloom which was looking fantastic but then the flowers turned black. It didn't really look like anthracnose and certainly not powdery mildew. Uh, this was a tree that had uh, early bloom on the top of the tree. This is a lemon meringue. Uh, fortunately, we had another bloom that covered the rest of the tree, but unfortunately, that was hit by something that's very common this year, uh, powdery mildew. And a lot of these panicles, they just uh, have this sort of gray, white, uh, you know, sort of fuzzy looking stuff on the stems coming off of the panicles. And that is powdery mildew and it's bad news. Uh, once it hits, you really can't do anything about it. This particular little fruit, it's even got a little yellow on the bottom, so I don't think that's lasting. Also, the, the stem of the fruit is, uh, you know, it, it doesn't look green. It looks more yellow and brown. Uh, so a lot of these panicles are not going to set any fruit at all. So powdery mildew is something that's been especially bad here this year. And there are a couple things going on. Uh, you know, Har has been spraying for, uh, you know, to protect the trees against powdery mildew and other things, and also to support the tree uh, nutritionally. And they have, there have been days where he couldn't spray because it was too windy. Uh, another thing that I think has increased the incidence of powdery mildew this year is that we really haven't gotten very much rain. And when it rains, uh, it will actually wash this, the powdery mildew spores away and uh, so your tree is a little bit more protected. Once a fruit gets to this stage where the powdery mildew has already infected uh, the bloom and then, you know, like this, the stems and the fruit do not look healthy. Basically, there's nothing you can do. Uh, it is on its way out. Uh, so anyway, this lemon meringue tree has a few fruit from early bloom up on the top of the tree. I'm not sure if it might possibly bloom a little bit again, uh, but it's a little bit late in the season to trigger bloom. We're getting Temperatures in the 50s, uh, that's pretty marginal. So anyway, I'm hoping for something else, but it's not looking great. Uh, let's go take a look at another tree though. This is one of our Nam Dok Mai trees. Nam Dok Mai is a really popular variety uh, and it has the reputation for being, the flowers are susceptible to powdery mildew, but it usually produces fruit even though it's been infected by powdery mildew. Unfortunately, I am seeing a lot of panicles that are just destroyed by, by the powdery mildew. We've got a lot that do not have any fruit at all. Uh, there's a little fruit here that is on its way out. We've got some right here that are looking yellow. They probably will fall off and more that are yellow. So. Anyway, uh, normally we get a lot of fruit from Nam Dok Mai. Not sure what will happen this year. Here's our Chakanan tree. Uh, Chakanan is another Southeast Asian variety and a whole bunch of stuff is happening on this tree. We have young leaves, this area. We have a few flowers. Uh, these happen to have powdery mildew, no fruit that's gonna survive on those. Some more young uh, leaves there. This section of the fruit of the tree has uh, a fair amount of fruit set. The, a lot of the panicles have been hit by powdery mildew, but we have some fruit set uh, in this area. And then what's really interesting is up high, we have a, a fruit from an earlier bloom and quite a bit of fruit. 
So Chakanon is looking pretty good for this next season.